Okay, so we're at the grave of James Joyce here. This is a statue of him right beside his grave. You can tell he's uh, wearing his trademark specs and has a cigarette here and um, a book. And my sons are here too. This is little James. That's Leo. And um, this is the grave. It just says, very simple little plot here. It just says James Joyce, born in Dublin, 1882, died in Zurich in uh, 1941. January 13th, and his wife is buried here as well, as long as some family members. Uh, his wife, Nora, says she was from Galway, born in 1884, died 10 years after him, 1951. So, Joyce lived here off and on, starting in uh, 1915. And it says on the Joyce Appreciation website here, for his time in Zurich, that the family had to pawn their furniture in Trieste in order to uh, put together the money to move here. And um, he lived in a bunch of different humble um, apartments and houses in the Seafield District, which is on the eastern lakeshore of Zurich, and um, was never in any one place for very long, didn't have a lot of money. Um, he lived, uh, starting here October 1915, lived in one address for about six months, then he moved again, stayed in a different address for three or four months, um, moved again. He really batted around all the way through, let's see, 1919 or around 1920, and then he was gone, but he visited... Um, Zurich many times in the 1930s just for short stays and then moved back um, you know again like right around 1940 1941 and he was taken ill with stomach pain and um, the condition deteriorated and he died of a perforated um, ulcer January 13 1941 so beautiful day here this is Joyce this is his grave oddly enough surprisingly there aren't any flowers here or fans of his haven't left any um, notes or commemorations or anything like that. Just kind of a quiet little place. It's just, the cemetery is right next to the Zurich Zoo and it's at the end of the uh, 6th tram if you want to come out and take a look at it.